to the Anko Target YouTube channel. This week, I will be introducing you to Dr. Dimitrovsky. He works with the University of Texas MD Anderson Cancer Center, Houston, Texas. Please enjoy. My name is Ethan Dimitrovsky, and I'm a physician scientist at uh, uh, MD Anderson Cancer Center in uh, Texas. And I study lung cancer. Specifically, I'm trying to find new ways to combat this terrible uh, malignancy. It's a sad fact that uh, it's the most common cause of cancer death for both men and women in our country, and so we need new ways to combat this terrible problem. With my graduate student, uh, Lisa Mustasha, who's the first author on our paper, we published a paper that was entitled The IFG Specific Protease, USP18 Regulates Stability of P10. Let me tell you about our work. Um, IFG15 is also known as the ubiquitin-like modifier, interferon-stimulated gene 15, and, and this a modification is implicated both in oncogenic and tumor-suppressive pathways. We previously found that IFG15 can complex with oncoproteins and destabilize them. And in fact, we found the IFG-specific deubiquitinase, uh, USP18, is a attractive target for us to consider for lung cancer therapy. So we have used reverse phase protein arrays to study both engineered loss and gain of the deubiquitinase USP18 within uh, lung cancer cells. And what we have found is that gain of USP18 expression in lung cancer cells stabilizes the P10. Uh, protein, whereas its loss destabilizes it. So what we have gone on to show is the subcellular localization of P10, and we found that um, repression of USP18 decreases the cytoplasmic P10 relative to nuclear protein. And uh, using immunoprecipitation assays, we've shown a direct physical association between P10, the tumor suppressor P10, and ISG15. We've gone on to assess the translational research implication this, of this work by using a comprehensive lung cancer array. And what we have found is a highly significant association that exists in human lung cancers between P10 and USP18 protein levels with a p-value of zero of less than 0 0.0001. So taken together, what our work has shown is that P10 is a previously unrecognized uh, substrate of the IFG 15 elation pathway, this post-translational modification pathway, and that the deconjugate USP18 serves as a novel regulator of P10 protein stability. From all this, we um, uh, conclude that inhibition of the ISG-15 elation process is thera therapeutically relevant in cancers, especially lung cancers. So I'm just going to repeat the last sentence one more, more time. Taken together, this work indicates that inhibition of ISG-15 elation is therapeutically relevant in human cancers, including lung cancers. By clicking the link below, you can learn more about the research discussed in the interview from cover paper of Volume 8, Issue 1. Thank you for watching.